Hey guys, so let's see, bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked and Diamond. We are playing Talon now, which again, he's apparently gained a lot in traction since the Yumus, and that's really overpowered. Unfortunately, if it is Pantheon mid, if they swap them, Pantheon is quite a good pick against Talon, clearly, um, because he will basically win every trade. I will say as well, uh, while we bring this open, this is probably one of the bigger differences in terms of team comp that i've seen in a while uh, the enemy team comp is much better than ours and it also doesn't help that our ezreal has got a bad kda and also has lost every single game that they've played of ezreal oh boy um and then the the evelyn obviously has a crazy kda because it's evelyn this guy's got 650 games of singe that's a lot um but yeah I, I honestly don't even know would the smarter thing be me go top lane and predict that they're going to roll swap because on the default oh it's pantheon top kale mid but she's got tp they're going to swap right like a hundred percent they're going to swap it'd be weird if they didn't don't cross me. the panzer smurf yeah i think he is uh level 39 account it says unranked Oh, he's a Pantheon One Trick account. This is actually his tenth game. This is his final placement. Quite level thirty nine is quite late to then randomly start smurfing in ranked. Hey, Ricky. Why is Ezra just sitting AFK? <laughs> Oh, I couldn't get the auto. Or could she? Not the second one. Oh, wait, it is Kale mid. What? Why would they not swap? They should really swap. Because in theory, Sin should be fine. Oh, he's trying to... Dude, why are you trying to proxy? I mean, it's bad if he gives Evelyn first blood, obviously. But it is actually slowing her down. Hey, in Nichigo, tier 3 for 50 months to another 50 together. Hell yeah, man. Hope you're doing amazing. And Kale, oh my god, he gave Kale first blood. Oi! And again, without being overly harsh, but that is why this player's played 650 games and they're in plat. You need to be smart about what you're doing. Trying to proxy no matter what and then giving a first blood to a Kale is really bad. He hasn't used the gold though. A bit weird. On the razor's edge. And Lily gets a double. No evidence here. We just saw one of those bolt thingies. How you doing, Anichiko? Team are doing it again. She's just gonna die. She got a double kill and then. Oh, if she gets out, that's big. This Kale does not want to be mid. Is she a Katarina main? What's going on? This player does not want to be in mid lane. Where'd they go? Don't cross me. What? They went that way? Oh my god. I never would have expected the person to go like that way. That's the like, most risky way. Wow. Fiesta, baby. So the Kale's on five farm. She's hardly been in lane. And this is actually annoying for me because I actively want to fight her. You're dead. Right. She's not dead. Let's this quickly. I think I should have committed harder to that and done like try to do an auto attack or something. I might have, if I really tried, I might have been able to do one auto attack and that would have gotten the kill. Damn it. At least she's got no flash. 
Oops. Got about Kale's speed up for a second there. How you doing, Defox? Well, the enemy bot lane has just completely fallen apart. They started well because, like, they cheesed in um, in there. Wait, how do I activate the passive again? It's hitting three things, isn't it? Telling the uh, 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 max three stacks. Like that so that gets the passive off. Okay. Yeah, we got that kill then. So again, our work of getting rid of a flash earlier rewards me getting the kill later. Obviously, it would be nice to get it both times, but at least it's not a complete waste. Oh. Probably should just go back, but. Kills are too tempting. Yeah. There's no point me roaming. I'm wait. I'm honestly letting Kale lane for free because I'm overly roaming. Hey, Reliant, cool. Wait, why has he stayed? Yeah, the Kale's a one trick, is she? No, she's not. 20 games of Kale, 130 games of rank. That ain't a one trick. Sw she's a Swain main. 69 hey, games of Swain with a 39% win rate. Ahaha. Ha. And then I think Kale might be coming her. Maybe she's a Kale one trick now. Her uh, recent match history has just been Kale. So maybe because of her performance on Swain, she's given up playing Swain. Pathetic. That's a really bad win rate. 39% win rate in basically 70 games. That ain't great. I wouldn't play probably Kale mid in current meta though, personally. I love, by the way, that the Evelyn has had basically no early game. Still got that Dark Seal, baby. They will probably end up somehow getting fed and buying a Medjai's. Hey, Lemonade's. Blue is spawning. Or bot lane. But you're staying, Kale? Blech. Why would you do that? Way too aggressive for a Kale. She should have just run it to high hill and survive. I tail it out of there. Yeehaw. I don't know why I went cowboy. I'm a cowboy. I'm on a steel horse I ride. Is he not dead? Oh my god, this Evelyn is literally going to get so tilted. <laughs> Do I feel bad? No. Definitely not. I'm wanted, wanted. Do, do, do. Oh my god, boy. 
do 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 Uh, oh, I should have just committed to the kill, shouldn't I? Damn it, dude. I'm, I'm honestly trying to focus too much on just ruining the Evelyn's game. I've actually given Kale like a freer game than I ever should. Because that's the thing. People know I don't love roaming. But if I'm... And this is why I explained to my Twitch chat. Because when I was loading the game, people were like, Oh, you, you know, you don't roam. I don't roam because all the champions I play yeah. suck at roaming. They're not roaming champs. And yeah, I don't love roaming. But if I'm playing a Talon or a Karina or a Kiana, yeah, I'm going to roam. But then often what I do is I then over roam because obviously I know these champions as just, they, they just roam. So then I think I over roam when I play them, when sometimes you, you can just stay in lane and get strength that way. Like this game, I probably could have gained way more strength staying in lane, but I've been so focused on roaming. It is probably one of the things I do when I play these champions. So again, a tip against Evelyn specifically is make sure you put your wards on jungle camps because obviously she's invisible normally, but she's not invisible. I do kind of feel sorry in a way. But I, I got the uh, Rift Herald as well, didn't I? <laughs> oh, dude, this Evelyn's gonna hate me. I got the Rift Herald. My Nidley's picked it up, and I killed her. Hell used ulti as well. <laughs> this Evelyn's gonna really hate me. <laughs> Why do I feel when this Evelyn probably inevitably recovers her game? If she doesn't, I'll be shocked. But if she recovers her game, I'm just gonna get owned. <laughs> Oh my god, a Huzzy Cannon. Honestly, just use the Rift, yeah. He's spawned and gone straight to bot lane and died again. Zero five. I need to go back. 2,000 gold is quite a lot at this stage of the game. Don't overdo it. I'm actually going to go Mercs, I think. There, she's dead. Oh, wait. Oh, my God! No! No! <laughs> Oh my god, she died and she lived. Oh my god, Ayla Remix. Oh my god. Oh! Land your hook, man. Oh. Evelyn. <laughs> Dana. Dana. Ah! Ah! Hello, Evelyn. <laughs> I mean, if we keep this up, then she can't recover a game, but we have to keep it up. I've seen Evelyn's, like, do terribly, like this Evelyn, and then end up 25 stacks of Magi's. He just went straight back into the Ezreal. That was an odd choice. Dude, I should just go mid and push this in. What am I doing? Been 
there's a three level gap. I'm behind the kale because I'm just doing all this stuff, but it's really fun. <laughs> Is she not coming here? Dude, Sod's Law, I'm going to start this, and then she's going to be here in a few seconds. I can guarantee it. Oh my god, she's not. Let's go! Oh wait, what? She's done this. Where the hell is she? She did that instead of going to red, because that has just been killed. That's a big play happening bot lane. They won't. Oh, Sinj just TP'd in. GG. Okay, we win. I don't even have two items complete. Well, this is a good example of a game. Pantheon couldn't snowball pa uh, top lane. Obviously, Kale's not going to snowball early mid. I did give Kale a bit too much freedom in the early game, but the result of that is we did not let that Evelyn have a vid, like a game. She literally couldn't get into the name game. Um, and yeah, I would say the enemy comp much better than ours, but it's comp doesn't mean everything. Um, pl player diff means more than comp diff and this is a good example even though our comp wasn't great uh, we made it work by just shutting down completely one of the enemy the Evelyn was not allowed to play the game In, you know maybe I should have been laning a bit more and actively trying to stop a Kale because Kale actually was 3-2-2 she was doing fine but I, I also helped just stop an Evelyn do anything, killed her several times myself, stopped her doing Rift Held, killed her. Like, it is effective. The biggest mistake I will say I think the enemy team did make, though, was not swapping the Pantheon and the Kale. Pantheon would have completely annihilated me in the early game, where Singed actually did fine against the Pantheon, and Kale would have probably had better free farm against the Singed. So I actually think they should have swapped those two around, and they probably would have had a better situation. The enemy bot lane also just got destroyed, by the way. Um, my bot lane is duo, and just to say, that is the Ezreal that obviously has very bad stats and no wins. So that was his first win on Ezreal. And that, the weird thing about that game, look how low the damage is, by the way, for Twitch especially. The enemy started off like the front foot. The Twitch and Lulu got first blood by sitting in the tri-bush, killed Ezreal, but then they got double killed by Nidalee. But even after that, I think Ezreal gained basically nothing at all from that situation but then they just started losing lane in the 2v2 yeah very weird uh, but yeah they definitely should have swapped the pantheon and the kale it would have been just a smarter situation because then pantheon being mid lane would have had so much more presence to help the uh evelyn in the jungle from when he's top lane he can't help and obviously um kale can't really offer that help anyway uh that by the way was donated by stumluck so yes, yeah, Stummy has donated that. And yes, we will play some Loldal because, again, that is what we're doing now on these quick matches. But yeah, that, it was a fun game. I can see why people play those champions. It's just not something that I'd like to do all the time. Again, it feels... And people are going to say, oh, that's not right. But that playstyle of never being mid, etc., it does feel cheesy to me. Like, I'm not playing mid, right? And it just does feel a little bit weird. Um, My preferred... You know, I much prefer just playing mid lane, winning my mid, and that's my preferred, you know, play style. Um, but yeah. Right, let me, I'm just getting lulled already. Do, 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 bonk. All right. So we'll start off first guess with Talon, because that's what we just played. So it's not male. It's not a mid or jungler. It's human mana. It's older than 2011. So let's go, and it's ranged. Let's go Zeri. So it's female. It's not an AD carry, so it has to be a support or a top laner. So the likelihood of it being a top is low. There's not many female range tops. So it's likely, percentage-wise, going to be a support. So a human-ish. Well, no, it's a human, just straight up human. Older than 2011, but newer than 2022. Female mana, ranged, 
support. Um, Karma? No, she's quite old. Janna, she's old. She's older than 2011, I think. Because Janna had the season two Victoria skin. Yeah, Renata. Was Renata 2021? Oh my god, it's not support. What? It is top lane then. What? Huh. And she was 22. Oh, and she's Zorn as well. Mm. So it's top. And we'll do... Twitch chat is thinking Quinn. Oh my god, it's Quinn. Oh my god, it's Quinn. Wow. Fair enough. One blade carries the weight of my past, the other holds the key to my future. That sounds like Yone. It is Yone. Uh, it's got all like lines, which could be lasers or swords. Hmm. Oh, it's Gwen. It's the needles. A thousand cuts is a roll. Oh, no, it's a passive. Damn. Which describes the emojis best? I mean, Janna, because weather. That's usually... Oh, no. Uh, what? It's either weather or water gun. Corky? No. Two guns. Belios? Oh, Neela. She's got water. Oh my god, it's not. Oh, it's Misfortune. Make it rain. I think it, her ult is make it rain, two guns, and pirate. Yeah, okay, that makes sense now. Fizz? Astronaut Fizz? Oh, no, it's not as astronaut. That is a mega squad. Oh, it's Super Galaxy. I knew that. God damn it. Help. But there we go. Not the cleanest rank, uh, round of Loldal, but still fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, though, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Crawl down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime.